For cheap and safe coins, go check the link in the description and use Crassy for a cool discount. And if you wanna buy cheap game codes and prepaid PSN and Xbox cards, G2A is also down below. How's it going guys? Yo boy Crassy is here once again. Well, it didn't take you long to hit over 1000 likes in the previous video, so here I am, ready to provide you with another FIFA 17 tutorial. So far, I've uploaded various tutorials on how to score goals, on how to perform skill moves, so it's time now to show you guys the best way of defending in FIFA 17. If you get the most out of this tutorial, you will stop conceding goals. I promise you guys, watch the video carefully and then you will have the best defense ever. But before we get into that, make sure to drop a like, you know the rule, you know the special rule. Once we smash over 1000 likes, I will immediately release the next tutorial. So it's all up to you guys when you wanna watch it, in one hour, in two hours, in one day, in two days and so on. So let's get into the basics, as you know I have added a bunch of new features in FIFA 17, but unfortunately guys, none of them are related to the defending part of the game, that's why we have to count on the old FIFA 16 techniques of defending and right now I'm going to show you the best way of using them all. I'm talking about the jacking movement, I'm talking about both sliding and standing tackles and last but not least I'm talking about the second teammate support button which is much better and much more effective compared to FIFA 16. So let's kick things off with the jackie movement which is the most important technique. If you press the L2 LT button of your gamepad the player on the ball will take up a special defensive position and thus he will become more aggressive. Trust me fellas, it's way easier to win the ball in FIFA 17 while using the jackie movement. So I recommend that you use the jackie movement anywhere in your own field, especially near the penalty box. The jackie movement is the safest way to defend properly, it is the safest way to defend against skill moves. As you can see from these examples, while holding the jackie button down, you need to use the left stick in order to move your selected player and once the distance to the opposing player is minimal, use a tackle to take the ball. I mostly use standing tackles because it's easier to take the ball. Also keep in mind that you always need to perform a tackle, you cannot take the ball if you don't use either sliding or standing tackles. As I said, focus on the standing tackles because they are extremely effective in FIFA 17. So guys, so far so good, it's time to move on to the second part of this tutorial related to the second teammate contain button which is a game changer technique when it comes to the defending. That's why fellas, I advise you to master it ASAP, if you press and hold the R1 RB button, you will get your teammates to pressure the opposing player on the ball and thus it will be easier for you to defend and take the ball. I always use the second teammate contain button alongside the jackie movement. In FIFA 17, the second teammate contain button technique is improved a lot compared to FIFA 16 and now guys, you can attack the opposing player on the ball even with two teammates. The proper way of defending is as follows, use the jackie movement with your selected player and at the same time use the second teammate contain button to attack the player on the ball. Let your teammates take the ball. If they fail to stop the opposing player, then you can approach the opponent and get the job down. So let me show you some examples. In the first one, my opponent switches the play and delivers a ball down the wing. So what I do is very simple and very efficient. I use the second teammate support button to apply pressure on him. As you can see, my teammate covers the gaps and makes him turn around. In the second example, once again, I use both the second teammate contain button and the jackie movement. As you can see, I pressure him with three players and then I use a standing tackle to take the ball. In the last example, I use the jackie movement to drag back my selected player and at the same time, I attack the opponent with my teammate using the second teammate support button. So guys, this is gonna be the end of today's defending tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comment section. I have an amazing free kick tutorial prepared for you guys. I have an amazing penalty kick tutorial prepared for you guys. So. Once we smash 1000 likes, I'm going to release the next video. Thank you all for watching, my name is Krasi and as always, I will catch you later. Bye bye!